it's Andy from the SA Survival and today I want to go over the 12 volt Furion fridge. I'm going to cut into a video that we made prior to departure but just to let you know the trailer had been sitting after we had totally packed uh, we went away for four days and then we came back hooked up the trailer and departed for Monk Provincial Park in Merritt BC. So let's go and have a look at what we did prior to departure. So I just want to go over the packing of our fridge for our five day trip coming up. You can see that the fridge is getting pretty full. We are close to being finished right now. So there's not much more going in. And on the freezer side, you can still see how much we've got, but we're not taking much in the way of frozen food. Now, down here we do have frozen meats, frozen breakfasts, ice, prawns, just a few extra things in the door, but that is it. This is pretty much ready to go for our five day trip. And the fridge has been on for two weeks now. Now, two weeks, just left it on to put a few small items in there because we didn't have room in the house. But with what we're doing now, we started to pack it ready for our trip. The last four days, there's been food coming into the fridge freezer and we have been staying at 100% with the minimum sun that we've had. It's been pretty wet here in Vancouver. Now... We are fully stocked as of last night. I will show you the pictures from the Victron Smart Shunt that I've captured from 8 a.m. in the morning to 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., etc., showing that we were at 96% in the morning, first thing, going up to 99%, up to 100%. So we were fully charged when I first checked at 8, 8.30. By 10.30, we were back to full charge. So I'm really, really happy with the battery system that we've got on board of this 260RD and with the solar system that we've put in here. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed how we'd set up the fridge uh, prior to departure and allowing the solar to do its thing uh, prior to leaving. And then it would have been fully charged after we uh, had departed on our small vacation coming back to hook up now let's get on with arriving here at monk provincial park we have been here for five days and the weather has been on and off uh, pretty much i would say you know 80 percent sunny cloudy uh, we've only had a few sprinkles of rain not much at all but a lot of wind uh, it is pretty amazing here we've never been to this provincial park before now, just to give you an idea, you may be hearing some wind in the background of the microphone here. I apologize for that. But let's give you a bit of a, a look at what we are seeing from the campsite. So as you can see here, uh, the wind has died down a little bit, but there are white caps out on the lake. We are in a treed provincial park. So if we have a look at this trees close by apologize for the blinding of the sun but as we get towards reflection we have got quite a bit of clearing now this is site number two for us because we actually only booked a couple of nights and we then added to our stay the first site had a little bit more sun because we were more parallel to the lake as we're pointing now at the lake but let's get into the fridge. You saw us pack it, nothing has changed there here. Uh, the reason why I wanna do this video is because we have not found very much information prior to purchasing the Reflection 2022 model uh, when it was dropped that the 12 volt fridge was gonna replace the propane uh, 110 fridge. As you saw in my prior videos, my OCD kicked in about how this fridge would last over a longer duration and I had that conversation with the salesman. We were really worried about 7 to 14 days of camping um, but after day 5 and with the weather that we've had um, I'm getting a little bit more happier shall we say 
with the fact that uh, we could actually do this for 14 days consecutively. We could even take it out on our three week vacation. Uh, primarily we used to stay for two weeks in one spot and we'd have to move for the third week. But I would say that we could do that quite happily now. Now if we look back at our prior video that we made in Golden Ears uh, Provincial Park, we had zero sun, it was cloudy, we were in the trees for three days and we dipped down to I think it was about 60% capacity left in our battery bank. So that was a good test. Now we've been here for five days with on and off sun. As the sun moves around, we get in some of the trees interfere with the solar panel. But as we will see in the Victron screenshots, that the lowest we've actually dipped down to, uh, and that was this morning and I didn't get a screenshot of that, we dropped down to 90% uh, left. So prior to that, we were averaging 93 to 95%, and that is an overnight run. What does that mean? Well, we would use our lights, we'd use the water pump, we'd have a shower in the morning, so we're using the hot water on demand and the water pump together. Uh, we ran the diesel heater overnight. Uh, it has been a little bit chilly here at night, uh, but because we can run that diesel heater sort of 12 hours consecutively, we don't have to worry about the amperage because it only drains about 0.5 of an amp at a time. So. That has worked out really well. And in the morning, again, the sun comes up, it's quite warm here. Uh, we're averaging about 20 to 24 degrees. Uh, but obviously we have a wind chill factor here as well because it's really, really windy. Um, and with that, uh, we would be uh, using around 93 to 95% on average. Uh, we started to use a little bit more of our electricity and got more comfortable with just sort of wasting power, if you want to call it that. Not that we do, we're very frugal on how we do it, but we could leave the main room lights on opposed to putting uh, partitioned lights like under the sink lights, uh, bedside lights, uh, lights around the dinette, etc. So we just went and just used it as we would a normal uh, trip. Uh, because of the, the extra batteries that we've added to this, we've got a little bit more luxury when it comes to that. So how's the fridge done? The fridge, which is a 16 cubic inch fridge, is the largest fridge that uh, Furion puts in the 150 series, according to what I've seen as of uh, May 2022's uh, website. Uh, everybody else gets in the 150 series a 10 cubic inch. So this is a pretty big fridge as you've seen. Uh, we do not fill it, uh, we, well, we could, but we've not been able to with the amount of days that we've gone away. So as it does drain up to five, uh, five to six amps, depending on what it's doing, we have recuperated all of our charge back into the batteries, and that's that 10% loss, uh, by around about noon uh, the next day. And I say around about noon because it depends on how fast the sun clears the trees to charge up the solar. Now, I have wired my solar panels up in series, which seems to take more ambient light into account with the MPPT controller. Uh, and the fridge has done amazingly over that. Like I said, we're on day five. I don't take a generator with me and we've not had to do any serious worry when it comes to the fridge. So we really liked golden ears and the amount of drain that we had. And now that we're in Monk, uh, I have no worries. We could do 14 days consecutively, even with uh, two or three days of dull or rainy days. We know now from Golden Ears that we can sustain that. And then if the sun comes back out, we can fully charge those batteries up. I'd say if it had gone down to 60% with the sun to charge it up, it might take a full day to get it back to 100%. Uh, but from there, we're doing good. There is a caveat to this. The trailer did come with a 100 amp lead acid battery, which, you know, in my mind would not cut what we were doing and a 165 uh, watt solar panel. So we have upgraded our power. So solar's at 565 watts. Usable for us is about 500 watts because we have to take into account the smallest panel and the 560 amps of lithium power. That has made a big difference. So if you're thinking of looking at this trailer or any of the new Grand Design 150 series reflections with the 12 volt Furion fridge, if you're willing to put the extra money into the power and the recharge, 
without using a generator, this is a valid and a viable way to do it. So I would recommend it. I just want to say thanks very much for watching this update on the 12 volt Furion fridge with the solar and battery update. And we will catch you on the next video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It does help out. Survive to be alive. Thank you.